welcome back to the channel guys. So today is mainly going to be about the new Turtle Wax Mist Glass Cleaner. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that one. Um, it's not really going to be too much of a comparison, but here's a couple other options, ones that I've used in the past um, for cost effectiveness and, and actually performing very well. The invisible glass is hard to beat. In the middle, you'll find the 2020 Vision. That is a mirror finish polishes product. Gino makes great products and he's local. So I've kind of converted over to buy this product. It's like 12 bucks a gallon, very cheap, cost effective and it works. And then thank you Turtle Wax for sending me all your new products. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about this, but before we get too deep into the demo of the product, let me show you guys the SDS sheets from um, uh, Stoner and from Turtle Wax. At first I thought this was just, you know, um, kind of gimmick-ish, if that makes sense. I thought, okay, so they're gonna put a couple little ingredients in there and piggyback it on the Flarisol trigger, which is awesome. Those are actually very awesome. Um, so I opened my mouth and insert foot. It's actually not that way. I'm gonna show you the SDS. This is Turtle Wax um, Glass Cleaner. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ingredients, products in that glass cleaner. One, two, three, four, five of those are solvents. So I'll, I'll pause it on the uh, page here and you can read this. So that is their glass cleaner. So it's got a doozy amount of product in it. And it does work very well. Now, does that mean it's better than any? I don't know. But they have definitely put some homework and time, some R&D into this product. Um, thus, the price. You've got the Flare Sol Sprayer, which is awesome. These are pretty awesome. Awesome and not awesome. I'll tell you more on that in a minute. You've got the new packaging. You've got the new product. Obviously, it took some time and some science, probably, to figure this out and to get it right, blended. Um, it's gonna cost you 11 bucks. So to me, that's probably the biggest downfall to that product, $11. But I will still put out the one bottle challenge to anybody that's watching. Grab a bottle when you find it and try it. Be your own judge. It does work. I'm not gonna knock it, it does work. I've been using it at work, experimenting, and it, and it works fine. Uh, let's move over here to the SDS sheet from um, Stoner. Uh-oh. Ah, I printed the wrong sheet. Yeah, that's great. Let me reread these. Hang on a second. Oh, there's only three. Here you go. There's only three. It looks like three products in there's right here. When I talked to Stoner directly, uh, I've actually called him and talked to him. Um, they just say simple is better, right? You don't want it too complicated. You don't want streaking. Um, dyes and such. There's other products that can cause streaking, whatever. So to me, glass cleaner is pretty straightforward. And, and actually, when I want super clean glass, I'll use any one of these. No lie, whatever's with me. Doesn't matter. And then I'll follow up with a damp towel, dry towel method. Um, <laughs> I mean, quite honestly, I haven't found anything that keeps a cleaner window than just God solvent. I may market a bottle of that God solvent. It's just water, guys. Um, filtered water if preferred. Um, also, real quick, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Brian Rich, Complete Auto Detailing. He let me try one of these towels he picked up. I love this thing. The coloration, the thickness, that is awesome. Um, now let's get back into the video. So I'm gonna use this platinum towel. This is a Walmart purchase towel. Uh, it's actually very effective, I like it. Again, the only downfall to this product would be it's 350 per towel. It's awesome, it's just a little bit too costly. But if you're in a pinch and at Walmart, pick one up. Let's go over here, see if we can see the dog kisses on the window. I'm gonna adjust this, so bear with me, please. I'm gonna try to get an angle for you. Thought looking out into the lighter background would be better, maybe worse. Man, faux oh, shizzle. I don't think it's gonna show anything. I hope you guys can see some of those smears on there. I can see them right here in person. 
So we'll just go around. Let me demo this real quick and we'll talk about it when I'm done real quick. This is gonna be a very short video. So the, the beauty to the Flaresol technology is these are basically little hand sprayers. I mean, look, you'll never need that much glass cleaner, but very minimal effort to get a lot of product. So beautiful that the mist is very light. Beautiful that you won't overuse the product, or at least hopefully won't overuse the product. So you'll save product. That's actually too much glass cleaner. I used too much there, see? So maybe one or two trigger pulls and you'll be good to go. And then now that I'm seeing this uh, problem that I'm having with my tint on this glass, will tint, because it's basically really thin plastic, right? Will tint polish up? Um, I've got really light streaking scratches on the inside from this dog mat protector. So if I hit this with a polish, would it clean it up or just ruin the tint? So if you know the answer to that, chime in down below. I know what to do with glass scratches. I did a video on that and it turned out okay, but at least I know the theory behind it. Well, it's clean. Um, you're gonna see a lot of the scratches and marring in there from that dog mat. Dang it, every time I try something, a dark background or a light background, it backfires on me. So let's step back over here a minute and talk briefly, briefly. Let me brief you. All right, so the Flarisol. Technology-wise, I love it. Um, so much so that the last one they sent me with their interior dressing or cleaner, that I rinsed it, like triple rinsed it, washed it, degreased it, blah, blah. And I kept it to try other products in it because I thought, you know, very fine mist, you can control it, you don't waste product. Well, then the lid began fitting kind of loose. Let me show you. Very simple to open these. It's just a twist. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So I thought, man, I'm going to keep that. It's like a mini pump sprayer. A lot less effort, though. Anyway, after about third time using it, it didn't fit good. It was loose. Eh, not a game changer. And then I thought, well... It's gonna fit loose and I knock it over, it's gonna spill. So I ended up tossing that one. Yesterday, after cleaning the windows on the rig, I had this sitting in the floorboard. I bumped it, knocked it over. What happened? Yep, lid popped off, wasted half the product. So, I mean, I don't know what to say on this one. I say it's worth a shot. It is a good product, the Flarisol, Dispenser mechanism is fantastic. Pretty neat, pretty new, kind of new technology in the last few years. Um, just buy one bottle and give it a shot, guys. Truly, will I use this moving forward? I'm just gonna be honest. Unless they sell this in the gallon for about 15 or 20 bucks, the answer is no, simply because of cost, okay? Technology, R&D, all that, great, great, great. 11 bucks for that. It was like six bucks for that, 350 for that. So you choose what you use, but take the challenge. Do one bottle, tell me what you think. And everybody have a Merry Christmas. God bless everybody, God bless America. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.